growing up in Rockford, Illinois, which is a little industrial town west of Chicago. It was basically manufacturing, about five manufacturers in, uh, in, in Rockford. My dad was a professional engineer working uh, with an architect building schools after the Second World War. I noticed that his friends tended to be business owners. I left there to come to school at MIT with this uh, image of entrepreneurs, people who were running businesses. I found myself respecting them and being interested in, in, in them more than other other occupations. I wanted to be a teacher when I was in high school. I was president of the Future Teachers of America. So I always had that goal, and I did teach for a year before Rich came along, the oldest. I knew that I wanted to go back once the kids were all launched in school. My first job was uh, in Orlando, Florida, working for Martin Marietta Aerospace Company. While I was working there, I had a call from MIT. They invited me to come up and work on the administration at MIT, which I did course one, civil engineering. I was the administrative officer for four years. I began to realize that there's probably no way, as great as MIT is and is strong, no way that they're going to pay somebody like me enough to raise five kids in the style that they needed to be raised. So it pushed me out of the comfort zone of that into investment management field. Part of my job was, as a stock analyst was to go and visit companies and uh, make recommendations to our clients on buying or selling. It was about that time that I decided, well, I was approaching 40 years, being 40 years old, and I've been talking about being an entrepreneur for uh, many years, and I, I decided I'd better either do it, actually start a company, do something with that idea, or I should stop talking about it. I began to feel a little almost phony. He had always talked about being an entrepreneur, wanting to have his own business someday, and it had gotten to the point where it was like fish or cut bait. One way or another, we ended up with my three friends from MIT. We, we got started. The dining room here was the mail room. We, we got mailings out to see if we could coax some people to uh, you, uh, call us for their alarm systems. The cellar was the stock room where we kept our stock and did some minor things with the equipment there, technical. We went along with all of the founding officers sharing in the work selling home alarm systems. But then it dawned on us that a business to move ahead needs to have an owner present. And we were thinking, our model was that we would hire a professional manager and workforce and we'd keep our safe main jobs. Well, we found that maybe one of us should go full time. And I was the one that really had wanted to do that from the start more than the other, the other guys. We had five kids, it was a jumping place. Mary was six, Nancy was eight, Lou was 10, Wells was 12, and Rich was 13. Dick was working as a financial analyst in Boston, and one day he came home and said, the time has come that one of us needs to take over the business full time. And so here I was about to say, we're not gonna have this big salary. We're gonna pay the payroll out of our meager savings, it's going to be quite a challenge to uh, survive. I looked at him and he said, what would you think if I did that? You'd have to go back to work though because we'd need some income. We wouldn't have much to work with there. And I had been preparing to do that for um, over the years. I had taken courses, gotten my master's degree so that I could go back and teach once the kids were well launched in school. It was a little sooner than I might have planned on doing it. But um, it, the whole idea was very energizing. It was exciting. We just all pulled together as a team and figured out ways we could cut costs, feeding five kids and Paying a mortgage on a teacher's salary at that point was a, a stretch. We figured we could do it. I cut their hair and they all had paper routes. Even the youngest one had a paper route. Papers were all lined up on the driveway every Sunday morning. They helped with the food shopping. We shopped in food warehouses and did everything we could to make it work and it was just fun. We didn't really know how much of a challenge it would be. We just knew that failure wasn't an option. We were going to stick with it till it worked. 